Hey everyone, you know, I have this sudden urge to play the GameCube, but I don't want to use a controller. I just want to use my voice to control the GameCube. God, if there was a way for me to do that, I'd be so happy. Well, thank God Nintendo has me covered. So the GameCube microphone, an odd peripheral made by Nintendo in 2004. Now, this wasn't the first time a microphone had been made for consoles. The console microphone industry can trace its roots back to around the year 2000, with the N64 mic being used for yelling at a yellow rat, and the Dreamcast mic being used primarily for the game Seaman, and also being used for online multiplayer. There were also some microphones released for the Xbox and PS2 around this time, but these were either made for yelling profanities at each other in Halo, or for karaoke. But come 2004, Nintendo decided to release their own microphone for the GameCube. But what's the point of a microphone if there aren't some games for you to use it on? And thankfully, there were several GameCube games that used it. And by several, I mean six, and by six, I mean one of them's a Japanese exclusive, so five. So, let's see how we can use this microphone. So to start off, we have Mario Party 6 with its mic mode, and also, fun fact, you need to turn on the mic and the options before playing this, I thought my mic broke because it wasn't working. In mic mode, you have three game modes, Speak Up, Star Sprint, and Mic Minigames. Starting off with Speak Up, it's a game show that does not work at all. For example, I was trying to say Wario, but it thought I said Mario and Penguin. Like, I can understand Mario, but how do you get Penguin out of that? That's like if I was talking about seals and you thought I was saying Prairie Dog. Next is Star Run, and other than the commands being extremely delayed, it's fine. Then finally we have the minigames, and well, they're just extremely boring and simple minigames that you yell commands at. Anyway, let's jump over to the other Mario Party game that supports the mic, being Mario Party 7. Again, you have to go into the settings and turn the mic on before you start playing the games, but once you do that, you get to play a very limited selection of minigames. And fun fact, the commands are super delayed, so it makes it near impossible to play some of these games. Though, there are some that I like, like Balloon Busters, that works pretty well actually with the mic. But, beyond that, Mario Party 7 doesn't really have anything else that works with the mic. So Karaoke Party is our next game, and well, it's a karaoke game. Not a good one, mind you, but it's alright. It's just your stereotypical 2000s karaoke game. You have songs from the 80s, and that's about it. Though, I did discover that you can make your own custom avatar in this game, so say hello to the stereotypical rural Midwesterner. Also, screaming into the microphone doesn't really work out that well for this game. So here we are with Odama, and this one is really the only one of these games that uses the microphone and the controller at the same time. And since that's kind of a weird control setup, Nintendo decided to make this plastic doohickey to attach the mic to your controller. And of course, I don't have this thing, so I just taped the mic to the controller. But beyond that, the game isn't actually too bad. It's a pinball game where you control little soldiers with voice commands. This is actually pretty creative and works really well. Now yes, you barely use the microphone in this game, but it's still pretty neat how it's used. But beyond that, I don't have much else to say on this game. So here we are at our last game to support the GameCube mic, being Chibi Robo. Now, I can't actually show you what the GameCube mic is used for in this game because I don't own the game, and it's stupidly expensive as well, like seriously, I could buy integrity with that amount of money. But, if you decide to drop 200 plus dollars on this game, how do you get to use the microphone? If you speak into it, Chibi Robo literally looks at the camera. That's it! So now that we've looked at the microphone, I have to say this thing was extremely underused. Now yes, this thing doesn't really work that well, but if it was slightly better, they could have made some amazing games for it. Maybe they could have made a quiz show game, and you could answer the questions with the mic, but one that actually works a lot better than Speak Up. And coincidentally, they did that. Remember the sixth game that I mentioned a little while ago? Yeah, that was exactly what I just explained. 
So they could have localized that and gave the mic a purpose. The only game I think the mic really works with is Karaoke Party, but to be honest, I'd much rather play any other karaoke game than this. They could have also implemented support for this in the few online games the GameCube had. For Fantasy Star Online, they could have implemented voice chat instead of forcing third parties to make stupid keyboard controllers. You know, this thing was so underused that most people forget it exists. And that's exactly what it is. An accessory that was built to be forgotten. And you know, that's why I'm going to do what I should have done a long time ago with this. Yeah, I'm going to be forgetting about this for a while. Mm -hmm.